And we are back on CentralValleyTalk.com. Let's talk business. Let's talk about one of my favorite communities locally, Mariposa. From the Mariposa Chamber of Commerce, Kathy McCory is here. Kathy, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mike. Thank you for having me here. Oh, today. Yosemite is free this weekend. It is. And it one is. of the ways you can get there is right through Mariposa. 140, <laughs> right. straight up the road. Does Mariposa get busy on those weekends when, when it's free admission to the national parks? We do. We're actually pretty busy all the time right now, but we will be busier this weekend. You're really busy all the time? All the time. Um, our visitor center in Mariposa averages about 60,000 visitors a year. Wow. Yeah. Just that, inside, in, that, in, the little, in our little visitor That little center. tiny town. That little tiny town. Wow. So. And you're all recovered from the fire now, the, the, pizza, the pizza place that burned pizza down? Pizza place is open, and in fact, um, this year they will be open during the Butterfly Festival. Mm. Last year they opened the week after our event, so we're thrilled that we'll have them back on board with all the other restaurants in town. But yes, all, all the fire damage is long gone. That's you good. wouldn't even know it was there. That's good. Okay, so tell me about the, uh, the Butterfly Festival and what you brought today. Okay, I actually brought over brought there by you some of my little friends here. Oh, um, these are little larvae. They're caterpillars. They're going to become painted lady butterflies in a few weeks. Uh, we have just in time for the festival. Just in time for the festival. We plan it the festival this way because this is their natural breeding time. Okay. And so uh, springtime is always when uh, they hatch and become butterflies. And these are painted ladies. They are actually native to our area. Mariposa is the Spanish word for butterfly. And these little guys um, uh, call the Sierras their home. So right now we have literally thousands of these in school classrooms, at the children's hospital, and businesses all over Mariposa um, that we're raising all of these in pavilions. They will become cocoons in a few weeks and they will start their metamorphosis into butterflies. And we will start releasing them May 2nd with the kids at the high schools and then, or at the elementary schools, excuse me. And then um, the 3rd and 4th of May at the Butterfly Festival, Aww. we will actually be releasing them. We bring them out of their pavilions. Uh, we use orange slices. They love orange. So we have Sugar Pine Cafe that cuts up hundreds of little pieces of orange for us and we reach in a pavilion and a butterfly will land on the orange slice and we'll bring them out and give them to you How and cool the kids that? and <laughs> you can walk around and and have, name your butterfly <laughs> <laughs> what should we name our have butterfly? A new, <laughs> have a new pet. You've got two new pets right there. <laughs> what are they eating in here, I'm wondering? That's, that I know you a, can't see this close up, but there's a couple of them in here crawling right, around. Right. It's a special concoction. It's the food that they will live on for, until they um, are ready to become cat uh Butterflies, excuse A special me. concoction. Yeah, a special uh, concoction. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, you'd tell me if you had to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so... You go up there during this weekend, mm -hmm. and, and I mean, what is there to do other than oh, hold a butterfly on your sure. finger? Sure. Um, actually, this weekend, you'll have to wait for the butterflies because that's not until right, right. That's um, coming up later. May. But we have the Gem and Mineral Show going on at the California Mining and Mineral Museum, and that's an annual event. So That's um, this weekend. That's, that's this, this weekend, weekend yeah. Saturday and Sunday. Of course, it's Easter weekend, so there's all kinds of Easter egg hunts and activities for the kids going on all over town, and of course, of course, you know, if you haven't been in a while, you might remember that Mariposa is very cute, very quaint. All the shops mm -hmm. are, are open for you and warmly welcoming you. Our, our town is all of one mile long, so you can <laughs> get out and park and walk the whole thing. We have also a history museum. Uh, to, that uh, tells all about the gold miners and uh, logging industry and everything like that, the days gone by that have come and gone in the area. And right now the wildflowers are blooming Beautiful, in the canyon, yeah. and it is gorgeous. The California poppies are uh, more abundant now than they have been the last several years, mm. so it is a sight to see. Now, do you still have the zip lining up there? We have zip lining too, absolutely, yeah. yes. They were on uh, one of our shows here oh, not too long ago, yeah. and they invited us to come up and do it. and. Uh, I, have you been? This Chuck, we're going ziplining, right, in Mariposa. See? I have to say, I am you the world's it? best backwards 
zip line. Backwards. I, I can't go forward to save my soul, but I can I can zip backwards just great. Brian would catch me every single time. Was that an accident? Did you it, went was, backwards it was or totally you... an accident. I had no idea what I was doing. you could spin all the way around. You could spin, you can flip flop, you can <laughs> ballet, you can whatever you want to do. I seem to want to go backwards. So uh, the last time I was coming in the sixth run, um, I actually saw Brian. And I'm just like, Brian! He's, he was the guy. I see you! <laughs> One time out of six, I came in facing forward. Wow. Yeah. Now, but it's great fun. Does it slow down right before you get to the end, or do you have to slow uh, yourself down? I didn't feel like it. I, think <laughs> 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 I mean, they stop you, they catch you, but you're going pretty fast. Yeah. You're sailing. Yeah. It's great fun. What's the, how high are you at the highest point? You're oh, pretty high? I, you, it looks really high. There's one point where you're going actually over a canyon. So one of the highest to me was you look down in this canyon and they give you a bean bag and they have this target down in the canyon bed and you actually get to do target practice Ooh. while you're zip lining. And I was amazed at how close a lot of people came to hitting the target. Not me, of course, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds interesting. Anyway. Back to the butterflies. Back to butterflies. I, I think you misunderstood my question. Okay. I, I apologize. On that weekend, when you go up there for the Butterfly Festival, other than having a butterfly sit on your uh, finger, what else is there to do, do that weekend? Yeah. Absolutely. Um, we start off the day um, with artisans. We have all kinds of great handmade artisans that fill up the art park. And at uh, 11 o'clock, we have a parade. And this year, um, we're pleased to announce that uh, Congressman McClintock will be in our parade. Ooh. That's kind of exciting for us, small town. Um, and uh, we have the hat competition that started Friday night. Well, they'll all be in the parade. So Wait, we get a what? A hat? hat competition. We all decorate hats with like with butterfly. big butterfly wings. Oh, absolutely, one. huge ones. Oh, there you we go. Have a picture of one. Absolutely, and we're in the parade, so we'll be um, uh, showcasing our hats, and then we'll announce the winners of the hat competition, the winners of the parade, and then we go right into live entertainment on two stages: one in Art Park, one on Seventh Street. And uh, we um, then go into the releases. So all day long, there's something for everyone. Mm. That's one of my favorite hats right there. This Look one at coming that. up? That's oh, actually my goodness. hanging on the wall at the Visitor Center <laughs> in Mariposa right now. So Clovis has big hat days. You have big butterfly hat days. <laughs> we specialize in butterflies, yes. Yes. All right. So, is there any admission? Uh, it is absolutely free. Yes. And on Sunday, <laughs> speaking of free, Sunday morning we have a non-denominational uh, entertainment that's from ten to noon, and several of our churches get together, Aww. and they are serving free breakfast burritos. So you can have yeah. breakfast with us Sunday morning, <laughs> compliments of our local churches. And again, more entertainment, more butterflies, more vendors, more of everything. Yeah. Just more, more, more. Yeah. All right. If you haven't been to Mariposa in a while, it's so easy to get there from Fresno. Straight up 41 to Oakhurst. To Oakhurst. Take a left on. Take a left on 140. 140. Oh, no, what? On 46. Oh, isn't no, it? I'm no, sorry. 49. 49. 49. 49. 49. 49. 49. Yes. 46 is the coast. That's right. Take and a left on 49 and then you're right there in Mariposa you're before you're right know into it. town. Absolutely. Now, if you're coming the other way from Merced, you just go up 140. 140. Yes. Straight up 140. Easy to find. Okay. The Mariposa Butterfly Festival coming up. What are the dates again? They are May 3rd and 4th. Oh, and I have a special have. butterfly just for oh. you, Mike. That's your very special <laughs> Mariposa butterfly. As a thank cool. you so for allowing us to be on the came show Came from today. that little, what are these the, called again? Those are called larva right this now. This is the larva, uh -huh. and it's going to turn into these. That's right. That is so cool. All right, Kathy, thank you for coming thank down you, today. Mike. Thank I you, Thank you very much. appreciate it. And maybe we'll see you up there. I hope so. At the Butterfly Festival. Festival. All right. And you are watching Let's Talk Business on CentralValleyTalk.com.